Hello there and welcome back to my boat workshop. My name is Panu and I am building this boat behind me. It's a 15 meter or 50 foot cruising sailboat that I'm building from scratch here in Finland. So what we left in, in the previous video was to start making these side beams for the boat. During last weekend, when I finished the last video, I finished milling all the material for both of the beams. And now I have already also made all the scarf joints. So all the pieces should be ready. There's additional thing I want to do to them and that is to sand all the surfaces kind of lightly but still roughly with a 40 grit sandpaper to get a really good bond between the boards with the epoxy. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Unfortunately the past week has been just so full of work. I had uh, three major deadlines last week so I really haven't been able to do anything during the week but now it's again Saturday and I'm trying to finish all the prep work today. I probably won't be still gluing today because, well, <laughs> I'm so exhausted of the past week. It will take a long time to just glue them. So I want to kind of start fresh in the morning and ha have a whole day just making the glue up. But anyway, now I think I'll just start sanding. I'm gonna make some kind of platform here to be able to have a good work position with that and kind of just go for it, put some podcast on my headphones and go from there. Oh, glorious sanding, I would say. Okay, now I have the first side completely dry fitted into the bolt and it looks very good actually. They fit quite well. I have to show you one detail. One of the layers is much thinner than the others. That way I made the whole pack as wide as it needs to be. Because there is a couple of restrictions here in the front this frame zero right in here this half this uh, slot in here where this goes through and it's now pretty much good fit a little bit of room there for epoxy but uh, otherwise this looks good the next thing i'm gonna do is to take everything off i wish there was a way to put glue in there right now but uh Unfortunately, no. So I need to take them all out and I'm gonna keep them inside the bolt, inside the frames there. Much easier to kind of fiddle them around. Now they are on the right side of the frames. I'm gonna make a nice stack of pieces over there. And then I'm gonna prepare everything, vacuum everything, clean it up so that everything should be ready for the glue up. And I think I'm gonna take these uh, saw horses or whatever these are inside there so I have a good working position in there to keep everything kind of organized and nice and easy to work with. And then just one by one starting from the front and go from there. We'll see about that. I wish there was a way to make it like a <laughs> snap fingers like this and it would be ready but uh, I can try. No. No, but maybe we'll go to the glue up like this now. All right, now it's the day that I'm gonna glue the first side beam in. And <laughs> it is more than a week later because yeah, there has been just so much work 
I've been so exhausted, I'm not really sure if I'm really uh, ready for this even now. But the weeks just fly by and I really want to get over with these. So now it's Sunday morning and uh, I'm here, I have plenty of snacks, everything is ready. I have now piled all pieces in right order over there. I have those uh, saw horses to help me to spread the epoxy in there. I have cleaned up things inside there and uh, yeah, it should be ready. And by the way, in the previous video, I got a few comments that I should actually make the scarf joints first and let them cure. Uh, I really like the idea, but the problem is that uh, if I make them as long as they need to be, they should be inside the boat and they need to go forward over there. Let me show you. They need to go from here to there, like a two meters. And there is absolutely no room back there to push them back because the tent will come in the way. So there is no way I can make those scarf joints before I actually put them in their place. So yeah, uh, the first layer should be pretty straightforward. I need to make just a bunch of thickened epoxy to put all of those frames and then I just need to squeeze the first piece in. So I really need to kind of go perhaps two pieces first here, then the next one piece of the next layer and so forth so that I can get the right uh, shape right here from the beginning. We'll see about that. This will take a long time. I have now bought uh, quite a few new clamps to help me with this. I have long screws to uh, screw these together to make the joint good. And uh, if uh, I run out of time, then I just leave it like it is. Try to clean up as much as I can. Then I just need to sand the surface again to accept that next layers. Well, that is just something I have to accept, I think, if it goes like that. But yeah, I'll do my best and I try to make this first beam today and we'll see how that goes. I'm not gonna film much because this take a lot of time to kind of go with the camera angles, but I will put a single time-lapse camera over there with the power supply so that it can record the whole day. And uh, you can see the whole days of work in a few seconds right now. It's now about seven and a half hours, few kilos of epoxy and about 250, 300 screws later. And yeah, it was exactly as annoying and as slow and kind of messy as I expected. Uh, so yeah, no, no big issues though. It was just very, very slow to start. The first thing I did, I make a very thickened epoxy put it on those frames. Then I needed to put another batch of small bead of epoxy on top of that so that I get the, this narrow part on top of that. And uh, yeah, that was very, very slow. The first board was very slow. After that, it was quite actually not fast or easy, but uh, okay to just roll the slightly thickened epoxy to the backside of the board and to the next board there on the saw horses. Those went actually pretty fast, those uh, those second layer pieces. But yeah, it, it just took very long time. One uh, uh, issue was that uh, I only have this one container of slow hardener anymore. So the green turtle epoxy, I got a bunch of more over there but all the hardener is fast hardener because they have had issues just raw materials for that epoxy and I actually just heard last week that 
the manufacturing of this particular epoxy will end. So that is a really big bummer because I really, really like this stuff. It's quite slow, easy to work with, and it works in cold climates as well. So that is a little bit of an issue. So it might be that I have to get addi uh, additional batch of epoxy for the summer because that fast hardener is, that is fast. It's too fast for these kind of temperatures. In the morning it was uh, around 10 degrees and it raised by the day. Uh, it's over 15 degrees now here. So the fast hardener is, is way too fast for things like this. So, and the issue was that I started with the fast hardener. So I was thinking that I can get that quite fast in there, the first pieces in, but <laughs> as it turn, turned out, uh, it wasn't that fast. So there's a little bit of an issue was that it started to harden before I got the second layer in and there was kind of these hard blobs of uh, squeeze out on that side. So I needed to take those off before put the second layer and that made it even slower. Rest of the stuff I used just a slow hardener and it worked well and uh, it had plenty of working time. <sighs> yeah, but um, as for forward from this, I think now when these first two layers are in, the rest of the beam, three additional layers, they are pretty straightforward to go in because there is no fiddling how they will stay there and be clamped on these frames. Now I just can screw them right in from the other side. I hope I can have a few hours next week to do that. Not sure, uh, I have plenty of work next week, but uh, maybe, maybe one day I can kind of sacrifice one day next week to get over with this. Uh, the problem, <laughs> problem really, of course, is that now there is a squeeze out on this side. So I need to sand all the surfaces off from that epoxy remains. There is a blob and a kind of squeeze out drops and stuff like that. So that cannot be there when I make additional layers. But yeah, I think this will turn out pretty well. I am confident that it is as good as I can ever get it. And uh, yeah, I will continue from here and, and we'll see. I'm not ending this video just yet. I will put something else in the, this video still. All right, it's the next Thursday. The glue has cured nicely. It looks quite okay. Now I just need to continue by sanding the other side again and start gluing the next layers. And, and I also just realized that it's <laughs> almost end of May and uh, this thing, yeah, the workload has just been too much lately. So my initial thought when I started this winter work was that uh, I could get everything ready for the planking around March, but uh, yeah, that's two months ago. So there is still things to do. And, and, and yeah, that, there has been just, my workload has been just too much. Uh, last three weeks has been very, very busy and it's gonna continue like that next few weeks. And uh, there's summer, I want to get the boat on the water and get some sailing done during the summer as well. So I'm a little bit overwhelmed with the, with everything happening. But uh, yeah, I needed to make this video last Friday, but uh, I think I'll try to make it uh, during tomorrow. So one week late with the video as well. And uh, not sure what I could show you right now. Well, maybe I'll show you a time-lapse of me starting with the keel timber slot over there. It was one day, a couple of weeks back, I just climbed there and uh, did some progress in there. It's not finished yet, but th that's coming along. So, and and yeah, uh, the cleat things that uh, hold the cleats, they are ordered and uh, they should be done in a couple of weeks so we can start fitting them in. Then one thing I want to start doing before planking or maybe during the planking, that could be possible as well is to make uh, these uh, deck beams. So we're gonna have short deck beams here on the side decks and also uh, knees around here. So we need to make 
rounded knees, laminated knees in every frame. So those are things I want to get done before we turn the hull around. It's much easier to do right now. So yeah, some structures there. And uh, yeah, I also now have asked prices for the planking. It will cost uh, 3000 euros or something like that, the planking stock, ready milled uh, with the thickness and size. So I don't have to actually do anything for that, which is very, very good. And uh, I think I'm gonna order them during next month or so. But I want to get rid of this uh, pile of material that is laying now here, so we can get some room for the for the planking stock. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. It's just the way it is right now. I have plenty of work, which is very good because I get more money to buy these stuff, like the epoxy and the planking stock and stuff. So I need money for that. So work, of course, helps with that. And if you want to support me <laughs> purchasing those materials, please go and check the Patreon page and uh, order some t-shirts and stuff those headphones and what I might have put into that uh, description down below. So several ways to support the progress here. And uh, I would really like to see maybe 50,000 views per video. That would help a lot, but uh, yeah, these are maybe too boring for the uh, YouTube algorithm right now. So maybe maybe later, maybe I can put some more time into editing these videos later. But uh, yeah, that's just the way it is right now. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll put a uh, time lapse here after this jammering of me to preparing this stuff. I'll try to do that today and uh, we'll see how that thing continues uh, next few weeks. And uh, yeah. My schedules were quite optimistic with, with these beams, that's for sure. Bye for now.